Hi guys, it's Evelyn back. Um, I just felt like doing some Divine Masculine reads and I did two quick ones. I might actually post them separately depending on how long the first one goes. So I'm going to get right into it so they're nice and short for those of you who don't have time to look at a long one. It was done at 3.43 to 44 today and again this is for the Divine Masculine. There, the major arcana was the Wheel of Fortune, Abundance, which is the Empress, the Reflection card, which is the Hermit in the Syrian Starseed deck, and then the last one was Alchemy, which is the Temperance card. There were six pentacles, one sword. The uh, court cards were the Knight of Pentacles with the Queen of Cups under the underlying energy. The numbers, uh, the sequence, four, five, six, seven came up with 12, which is Wisdom, the Hangman, and 24 of the Queen of Wands and 61, which is the Seven of Swords, as well as 11 for Justice and 5-6. Um, in this read, I do have a code line. I don't in the second read. This one it was Environment and Music, um, and about clearing expansion for your abundance regarding the lovers of Mary Magdalene and Jesus. Uh, wise Hierophant. Uh, I was, it can be a marriage, but I was getting more of that expansion energy or wise fever, a B-U-N dance. So there's definitely a huge clearing that needs to be done as the masculine and feminine come together. And then I was getting Queen of the Nile. So getting right into this read, the underlying energy was the Five of Crystals and the Sage of Chalices as the under the underlying energy, okay, like these two together. This is like Five of Pentacles and then the Queen of Cups. So abandon, abandonment of the Queen of Cups, the King of Pentacles might have held his tongue as the Queen of Cups in the aftermath of a battle was severely wounded. Uh, then I was getting, I was blind but now I see. The chariot comes in boldly to a high priestess with a block around exposure or just about happiness in general. And then I was getting by the light of the silvery moon again. I want to spoon in the month of June. Ignorance is bliss until it's snot. <laughs> olive, olive head Viking with salt and pepper sharing, teaching and learning from kids. High Priestess marries on their knees while children expose all about the Viking Italian hook in someone's third eye. Pisces Leo Cancer expects everything their way. Angel offers love, implementing resistance or holding back to or from a sovereign who is open and free. So that could be the masculine resisting the feminine um, while he's dealing with 40 muck and expensive curtains. Calling in soulmate uh, was the underlying energy and underneath that was express your love. Secret lover with jealousy suddenly, karmic showing off, admiring self, while wounded warrior is left lonely, telling story to a friend perhaps. While he was sleeping with karmic, right, right there. While he was sleeping with karmic, the divine feminine was suffering and karmic showing off, right? So some, some karmics could be gloating about having uh, won their masculine back, especially if someone's actually had a relationship with the masculine. Three feet in the bedroom after drunken night and food all over the floor. 26 came up with love partnership. 26 is the page of wands, so it's very immature energy, but very excitable and inspired. And then underneath that was parenting of 63. And 63 is the nine of wands of the suffering and the purging going on. The knight of pentacles, which is very uh, earthy energy, he's the workhorse, out in gold leaf. So he's all dressed up, which he doesn't always do because he's the, he's the workhorse. As divine timing for Capricorn, Pisces, and Leo with ruby settings, Russian roulette perhaps with the Holy Grail, offering if the squirrels don't get there first. Someone left for dead in the woods with only Bambi to find him lying in the grass, new passion about to explode and take off. Three of ten birds take off, as a white mouse inspects the Holy Grail with pink eye. So if someone has pink eye, might not be ideal time. Grounding and integrating and mastering death, betrayal and pain, so he's clear for takeoff. And I wrote take out by accident, so he's clear for takeout. When all is ready, be, caref 
carefully, and I was just getting be careful, so be careful, or carefully planned destiny. So recently for the masculine was Brain Wars, the Five of Swords guy, right? Five of Orbs. Uh, Magi passed, or the Magician, past returns and clear on needing to apologize to the Divine Feminine left out of the truth of his juggling and, neg and negative patterns. It doesn't mean he's juggling women, but he could be. The foundation has to do with the Hermit offering love to a Leo, but feeling uninspired about it. Centrally is the Hermit, or the foundation is actually the Hermit here, the reflection. And then we have centrally is the, the Great Wheel, the Wheel of Fortune. And I was getting Adam and E too, because the E tower is above the Adam. So centrally destined to Adam and E tower, happy with self, he could be showing a little bit of arrogance at home, and then sad and regretful later and feeling alone. Seeing synchronicities and rolling the die, challenged by abundance, mother, marriage, or work, death of a rose opportunity. So this is a challenge is the Empress, the abundance card. So his challenge could be the abundance of the divine feminine, or it could be a mother or mother-in-law, or his karmic partner, all right, who's trying to like bribe him to stay, or just, you know, there's some kind of uh, where the fe the feminine has the power or the money and kind of offering him more uh, incentive financially to stay or saying they're not going to get, they're going to cut him off if he doesn't stay, that kind of stuff. So the Page of Pentacles, there's a confession to the Queen of Pentacles in looking back about synchronicities and the Sphinx destined schooling the goose who laid the golden egg, choosing a goal out of reach, the Queen of Pentacles, coming together with the Queen of Swords and new love, or it could be a child as well. So now crowning is the Divine Feminine's heart. This is also the Seven of Crystals, but for me in this deck, this is the Divine Feminine's heart, and the Masculine's heart's in this read as well. While working with Queen of Wands, watching him walk away to come to the Divine Feminine's and work on his, himself, there's synchronicities of the Queen of Swords being dumped a dove that was lost. King Tut dumped. Because he was, when I was connecting with Tut, he was being dumped out of the birdie basket or the nest. Letting go of all attachments at work and marriage for new passion to bring God into work. So somebody might want to bring more spirituality into their job. The Divine Feminine may be in pain and disconnected from the Emperor Reversed, who could be out of control or he could just be losing his ego while offering friendship to a third-party lover, while evil empress spreads rumors about the Queen of Swords and Libra, new love, defending selves and their obsessions for each other. So soon is wanting to balance. So we have the Six of Crystals here. Wanting to balance and share, working on aligning with sunshine. Leo, ego, or kids in a split, in death, in a lie, and or duplicity. Leo, Queen of Cups, Kids, and King of Pentacles. It's like the masculine seeing, and that was at 444, how this would work as the Divine Feminine comes in and becomes part of the family. As I turned the page, it was 445, which then goes into the grief of the Five of Cups. He is surrendering, awakened, and purging for third party Queen of Pentacles to be released. Heart to heart conversations, engagement, and new love around him is well this is him he's he's the surrender okay this is how he's seeing himself this is the two of pentacles or the two of crystals in this deck but it's the surrender and around him now is the knight of pentacles proposal so is this energy as well so this is around him or how he is seen so it could be someone around him proposing proposing something financial or practical to him or it could be him proposing as well um, he's around him the Knight of Pentacles proposal, secret out of separation and also paying out. Clearing blocks of the Divine Masculine's heart, offering gold coin to express passionate feelings about, about his blocks and the chaos that's been going on in his life. At war with downturn, possibly at work, while getting attention for a betrayal. Environment came up in the numerology deck as well as music. Taking a leap away from the harsh truth. And then the final two cards were um, Four of Crystals and 
The four of crystals was the blocks that he needed to clear. So this is his own heart. So I need to clear blocks from his heart, opening up. And then the final two cards were alchemy and then the ace of crystals, which is like the diamond in the rough. Okay, so diamond energy, diamond light. So taking a leap away from the harsh truth, alchemizing obsession with union and a dream. Talk about a miscarriage or abortion, walking away from abuse, perhaps. King of Cups standing up to the King of Swords reversed, who could be his own negative self-talk. To be patient and balanced, new life detox of Libra and choosing path of sovereign with obsession, or that he's obsessed with. Grounding and integrating negative self-talk and synchronicities, heaven in their eyes, dreams of standing up to others, fending them off at night, holding on to opportunity to give the Queen of Cups the Queen of Cups is gold coin. So, and of course, Queen of Cups is traditionally water signs, but it doesn't have to be. It could just be a nurturing, loving person. So, the Queen of Cups feeling abandoned and hiding out. The King of Pentacles held back announcement or silent treatment. As the Hermit surrenders, proposing an apology, destined abundance um, of the Empress sharing equally with the Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine hearts in an alchemization of a new life. Having felt in exile, anxiety, and or fear, now recovering with new passion and wanting to apologize. Hermit destined to the Divine Feminine's heart, but the challenge being her abundance and an open heart, or an ex-mother, uh, or an ex or, or mother, or mother-in-law interfering and using guilt. Surrendering to, surrendering to balance and sharing and reciprocity, a proposal from the Divine Masculine's heart of an alchemical new life of shadow work, synchronicities, co-creation, and dreams come true, now offering his gold coin to you. Okay? So that's the read, and I'm going to show you... Ugh. I only have the full read, because I forgot to take a picture of just those cards, but I did show them to you. So this is the full read here. for that one. Okay, so I'm going to let that go and I'll post another one too because I have a second masculine read. Rise and be loved, guys. Bye.